Uh, Travis Hunt, Vice President of Hoosier Valley Railroad Museum. Kyle Flanagan, I'm the Secretary of the Board of Directors of the Hoosier Valley Railroad Museum. Now we're currently restoring this PL2 that runs now. Have a uh, have a few electrical equipment, gremlins we're working on. Just did all the air valves, and uh, hopefully soon it'll be in service. Okay. Kyle, what's this mean to you? Well, it's been a long time coming. I got involved with this since uh, since day one. It turned into a little bit more of a project than we originally anticipated, but we've been grateful to work with the owner of the locomotive to accomplish quite a bit so far. Uh, basically rebuilt the whole cooling system, uh, quite a bit of repairs to the pilot and some other things. Uh, all in all, hopefully once we're done, we're going to have a good solid locomotive that'll help entertain everybody for years to come. And this is the 52. We have the 56 as well here? Yes, uh, both of them have been together basically since the day they left the factory. I think that's the only pair of BL2s that can say that right now. What are the plans with the 56? Uh, currently there is no official plan. Uh, not really sure what's all wrong with it. We've been told high voltage grounds, but it's quite a ways off from ever even being looked at. Long term project sometime in the next decade. Well, my name's Josh Biggers. I'm a volunteer here at HBRM. Uh, just general volunteer work, you know. Uh, we're here in the cab of the 52, and uh, we're helping Travis here do some general uh, electrical troubleshooting. Uh, the problem we're having is one of these relays isn't coming up when it's supposed to, so the engine's not loading. Uh, and it's just a matter of following the electrical schematic. Um, try and chase it down, figure out which of the various wires and switches isn't working. And once we find that, we should be good to go. Very good. What's it like to be working on here? It's probably 100 degrees, isn't it? Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> it's really hot up here. Um, not much ventilation in these cabs either, so... Not, not to be quitting time for the day after working up here all day.